Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I present you Fran J. Fesera permanent magnet motor, as promised yesterday. Let's get to the drawings and see what is here so interesting. Alright viewers, so this one will be very difficult to explain because I'm not, not the expert in English. But I will do my best and I apologize if I make some mistakes in my descri description yeah, of this device. So let's try to let's start from the beginning and see why what is here the general idea so you see that this actually this magnetic motor consists of two rotor assemblies so one is the horizontal rotor assembly this one i selected now and the other is the vertical rotor assembly so let's let's get back to the horizontal rotor assembly and see why is his shape exactly the how i draw it and how it's described in the patent so, so you can see uh, the magnets in the horizontal the rotor assembly does not feel full 130 degrees. There is a gap. You can see the gap is actually 120 degrees. And why is this gap of 120 degrees necessary in this system? So it's very simple yeah, to, to conclude. Because we need to overcome the opposing magnetic field. And that's the only purpose of this gap in this system. So next they are vertical rotor assemblies, so three of them, and it must be three of them, and I will explain you why. So, so let's start from, from this corner over here. Yeah. So I draw this exactly in this position, so you can imagine that this magnet was somewhere before up, yeah? so it let's get it, it going in the clockwise direction, for example, yeah? and it will be over here, somewhere over here, and this magnets this blue magnet would attract the red so other pole so it will be attracted so so you can imagine that uh, when this is spinning and this is also spinning because of the gear mechanism so this magnets on the horizontal rotor assembly will attract this magnet on the vertical rotor assembly and when these magnets come to exactly this position uh, there will be start to be a gap here and uh, what will be good here is that uh, these horizontal vertical rotor assemblies are shifted for exactly that amount so that when this magnets from the first rotor assembly comes to this point this one will be in the moment when the big attraction force will come from the horizontal rotor assembly so so that's is the, that's why it's needed to be exactly 120 degrees apart yeah and of course the last one is shifted also a little bit so I think 40 degrees so that when this one comes to this let's say horizontal level uh, to horizontal level the next the last one will be uh, ready to attract to the horizontal rotor assembly and this will uh, spin in this in indefinitely in such a way because none of the magnets always will the last magnet come to the gap and then will come to down and the next magnet will be attracted to the rotor assembly and of course you can see that the gear mechanism which is needed to exactly uh, let's say position this system in such a way it's with three to one ratio so when when this will spin uh, one time this assembly so through this mechanism and, and, and on this shaft will uh, be three times yeah so so that's that's the case so so basically uh, from this to this from that from this magnet to this magnet this will be rotated once yeah? so that we have three uh, three to one ratio with exactly these positions and the gear mechanism is necessary because we always have to be in the same exact position for this to work and this is basically it's very unusual motor and I wouldn't say that it's very practical for construction but yet if it's working it's working so this is it. Alright viewers, so that was Frank J. Fasera permanent magnet motor. I wouldn't say that this design is very applicable for commercial use, if it's even possible, if this even works in the end, but uh, it, I, I think that it might work, it might work, because the design is, yeah, it's logical, it's mechanical, and it has all necessary parts to overcome this, let's say, opposing magnetic field with this type of design. So this is it for that, this video and until next video please stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.